<clears throat> okay, so we're in on the account. Let's just um, play a bullet match first. We only play one of each, no matter the outcome. Doesn't look like this opponent's playing, so do we chalk this one up as um, <laughs> a win and move on to the next one, or do we play another one? Looks like I'm going to have to ask for another opponent, and can't go out like that. bit slow on the uptake today They're usually pretty quick for the bullet matches what have we got okay let's see. see if we can keep up with time at least have to get a half decent position of sorts let's go here has he moved oh, it's, I can't see you in the moving moving that quick let's go here so. time is dropping down they're just moving fast doing obvious moves and I bet he's moved and yes he has I've missed it <laughs> he's attacking he's attacking I'm losing valuable seconds because I'm not seeing when they move. So it's attacking the pawn. On passant. No, he's moved back. Oh, I was just about to take that bishop then. Let's go for this pawn. Losing time, losing time. Bishop's protecting. See if we can disturb something Queen takes. Let's capture. Uh, have I missed something again? Uh, let's hit the bishop. Hit the bishop again. And uh, let's hit this pawn with a check and just grab here. Let's, uh, support. Oh, let's take that rook. Oh, and we win. Excellent. Okay, nice one. Good advantages in that game. Nice spots. I just couldn't see when the opponent was moving. That was a bit dangerous. Okay, it might be the colour that I've got on the screen. I might, my screen's a bit dimmed down. Okay, got to be watching that. Okay, so shall we move on to the next one? Which is Blitz. We'll go for seven minute, seven minute zero increment. Any color? Really slow today. Crikey. Mm -hmm. We've got a fifteen question mark, so we don't really know what they standard is for this player just nice and steady okay um, I'm just going to bring this out nice and nice and easy see if they're going to overextend at all Knights coming out potentially then. Yeah, okay, let's go here. I feel the need 
to Castle. Just open up. It's all very simple, straightforward stuff at the minute. It's going for basic attack. Oh, he's not. It's coming for. Is his knight not? Oh, am I falling for something? I'll take the knight because the knight doesn't look like it had any protection on it. But I'm always wary when they do stuff like that, some type of set play thing that you can't get out of. And he's given up the bishop, so I don't know if there is a set play thing for this now. He does have the pawns that are coming charging down. always mindful there are players that will sacrifice pieces for a better position and then you, you end up you can't do anything about it so he's attacking the knight knight can't come back there from here but i don't want to overthink it if there isn't anything it look we look fairly okay and um, just take it off the ball because we've got more pieces now And they've resigned okay right so there's no set play thing on that okay so we'll move on to the rapid or the um, classical so I've chosen the classical one today I think I did some um, rapid ones yesterday so I'll go for a classical 25 minute zero increment So in essence we've got two pieces developed which is quite healthy for us whereas the opponent at the minute doesn't have any pieces developed so they're probably two moves behind might, it might mean nothing but you know I've got to believe in something So yeah, that's what we've been doing for the fact, um, is it past two weeks, just playing daily, or even if we skip a day or whatever, at least we're focused on playing one game. Um, I did have a slip, I think it was probably two days ago, where I was playing the Blitz, and I thought, well, just let me keep, get my hand in here, you know, and I kept on going and going and going, and didn't do too bad, lost one, and won about four after that. So it didn't feel any good, basically any better you know so than not only playing one so I think I'm going to stick with just playing the one game don't even have to be of each as well I'm going to change it basically to say well okay I might just play a bullet match one bullet match or I might just play a blitz match and it don't have to be daily like I said but whatever game it is that I'm playing just really sort of raining it down and looking more at the quality of the game Bishop's blocked his pawn, but we're not to be getting too excited about that because it's probably queenside castle. So I'm actually just going to bring the knight here. So his knight's developing, queenside castle. <coughs> I think he's done that big <coughs> because you know how we mentioned about us having two pieces developed. He's now actually caught up with the development of his pieces. <coughs> be doing that but the queen is coming here but if to do that then the knight can take the pawn so I'll be slowing down their development but it could push the pawn which is messing with their um, pawn structure but I'm delaying castling am I under any immediate threat at the minute I think I'm actually going to do that just to make them think and they have to do an extra move either here or here just to push the pawn down so the knight has to move obviously it's not going to be this one because that <laughs> you know or not in fact not even going to be that one you know because we can go oh so we can still put go and put the check on but i don't know if we win out actually he has to move the king anyway so we get a pawn and just bring the knight back i believe then it's going to chase us so that we can't go on castle trying to take advantage of that <coughs> but we've created a bit of a loophole hopefully we can take advantage of that let's castle now let's not get carried away 
Okay, so his bishop now is looking to come through and attack our rook on this side. So I'm going to start pushing this pawn up first. Could be looking for the knight attacking the bishop here, which is blocking there at the minute. But for now, see if we don't want to block the knight with that pawn. Well, we know the bishop's coming here, so from that point on, yep, yeah, as he's done. And still want the rook to stay there. Bishop's got this here. Let's come for the bishop, just bring it back. I think the knight's done its job. He might not want his bishop taken. Don't know where he's going to go though. Could come here. Hmm. Okay. It's a very strange looking opening. But I did like the fact that, you know, he went queenside castle in with that. Oh, what's this knight doing? Has it got support? He's looking for, like we said, this bishop coming here. At the moment, we've got the bishop protecting. So I'm going to take the bishop, doubles his pawns. Then we can blunt his bishop because it looks pretty dangerous, doesn't it? Yeah, let's blunt his bishop. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Pushing here, maybe I get the bishop. Oops, so I get the bishop here. What is wrong with my fingers there? Tucking this lonely pawn. Could come here as well, attacking here. So what's the what's the deal? Get this rook here. Big picture. Double the rooks up. In this file. Push, push, push. That's as basic as I can get it. This white square bishop needs to get into the game. Okay, that's my sort of thought process. It's like a scattergun approach there, but... Okay, so the bishop's down. Wants his knight to get in the game. Boom, boom, boom. Does he take back with this, or does he open his rook? Knights hunt the bishops. Take here if um, he doesn't take. Okay, white square bishop's not really doing much, so we'll take that. If we go there, and nope, it's not nothing there, so let's go here. Open up the bishop, go for this target area like we mentioned. Potential. <coughs> Potentially, <coughs> excuse me. Potentially grabbing this pawn. Let's do a sense check. Tuck in the knight, knight goes. Blam. Tuck in the bishop. And then he's going to get the pawn. So we might have to hang fire on that and push the pawn onto the knight first. The knight can still go. Blam. Attacking the bishop. He's attacking this pawn as well. So we could bring the bishop here, attacking this pawn. His knight takes. We take, we're on his rook. His rook comes down. Bishop comes here, attacking the rook. Hmm, that's a lot. That's a lot. So it's going blam there. Let's attack the knight, it's going there. I may just. How can we adjust and let him take the pawn, can't I? Or oh, I can just push the pawn up out of the way of the attack. Maybe push the pawn up. If he takes, then rook takes. Looks nicer. 
this also looks nice as well. He takes, or maybe he doesn't take, and the rook defends first. Brings this rook to defend. And we can push the pawn up. Yeah, a lot of if buts and maybes on that one, isn't there? Hmm. <laughs> Why am I still? I'm still angling for it. If I maybe push, or maybe just push this so that we're starting to get some pressure towards the king. Shall we do that instead? Yeah, he can have the bishop. Let's do it. Because the reason being, it doesn't have to, and the, when the rook comes here, it's sort of blocking, and then after that, I didn't really see that there's much. And he's crowding out our area with his knight. Whereas we could take a bit of advantage with the little bit of advantage we got here with the, the king. It's one of those slow, deadly moves, I think, this pawn move. That's what I think, anyway. <laughs> probably proved wrong. Crikey, I thought I'd used up more time than that. Oh, steady on. So what's the, what's the opponent got? It's got double pawns in the centre, but he's going to want to get rid of those. He can always angle to double his rooks up, taking it nice and steady. But, he wants his knight to be active so if he does take which rook do we take with I think it's this rook isn't it because this rook is holding court here so it's nothing majorly devastating because his rook can come down and protect this pawn once it's gone there we take here then his rook comes and protects so we're not we can't really it's not much dice on that one, so we'll probably hang fire on that and just keep pushing. It's not even he's doing something totally different. He doesn't want the bishop. So, um, you know, I thought I did an arrow then. <laughs> I was just about to say. Uh, well, I might, might attack the pawn then. But seeing as I've moved, um, I'm attacking the pawn. Now it's controlling here, so we're going to have to give it a little bit of a touch. I don't know if they've got problems with their connection or something. For a moment there it says, opponents left the game, you can claim victory in blah blah blah. And they've gone off and they'll come back on again with some super skills yeah like I said so they'll, they're back on now with some super skills I'm a very I'm a veteran of this type of stuff <laughs> oh dear <coughs> okay so it's come down for the bishop we can push the pawn up to protect could push this pawn to protect. <coughs> a serious cough going on. Could attack the rook, his, his knight, and then his rook is just jammed in the centre of the board. He can escape. One, two, well, goes here. So I'm actually going to attack his knight because we're happy if his rook goes into the centre here. It's almost like trapping itself. Not a, ma not a major trap, you know, I'm just thinking we could touch it a little bit with the pawns, condense it in a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Quid pro quo. Do you take the bishop? You spent all that energy coming down with your rook. You'd think he was actually going to take it. This moves here, so that's where we can come. Oh, it's done that. So we can move the rook up, 
And what's his whirlwind? What's his whirlwind? He comes here to attack the rook again. Yep, so that's what he's going to do. So that gives us an opportunity to move here, but he can always move back again attacking the rook. Okay. Let's do that. Oh no, he's <laughs> got my bishop. <laughs> Moving too fast. Oh, the whole reason why we're attacking the knight was because he's got our bishop. <laughs> okay, two pawns for a bishop. Yep. Probably won't get two pawns, but. Oh, that was so silly. Dear me. That's the type of thing again as well, you know, you're doing your calculations and this happens in over the board as well where yes I'll do my calculation blah 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 and then forget about the um, main reason why you did your initial movements in the first place. Oh man. <laughs> oh that's ridiculous. I can't get the knight, he's got this escape spot here. He does protect. And then his knight comes here attacking our rook. So we'd have to come here, but then does he have a fork on both of them? He's got the pawn. Ooh, the deadly pawn that was going to cause all the problem. The snowball is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> just from that one move. <clears throat> That's so silly. You just take the pawn. He's got this pawn as well. Well, I'm going to have to just fight with one rook and uh, see how we can get on. Oh dear. So he's just whipping stuff off the board. <coughs> At the minute his rook stuck in the centre so he's, he can't do much. And he's coming for another pawn. Now they're playing really fast so they may make a mistake. It's giving space for his rook to get, get into the game and we can get the knight because they're moving so fast and now we're plus one now that is scary actually seeing that in live again is, is scary you know it's <laughs> it's like unbelievable play isn't it now we can control this um, pawn down <coughs> They look really mad. Okay. It's coming for the rook now. As expected. Yeah, he's really mad. You can tell. How could he let the knight go? <coughs>
Oh, that was wrong. Ah, oh, the advantage is gone. No, oh, I tell you. Unbelievable. How stupid am I? <laughs> Dear him. I can't stop this poem from getting promoted now. Oh, scandalous. Oh, my life. Oh, I think I had a bit of an advantage there. Oh, what's going on? I'm going to have to take this pawn. Well, I don't understand why he didn't. He should have just taken my rook there, I think. I came across and protected the pawn. He's going to just push his pawn down. And if I go here with a check on his king, he's just going to move the king down. Oh god, if he moves his king down, I can take his um <gasps> I can take his rook with the king if he moves the pawn down. Surely that's right. He's not going to though, is he? He's going to move his rook somewhere. And then he's going to... Oh, yeah, he's going to get the promotion. Oh, got it, got it, got it. He's moved it down. Although, maybe I don't get his rook. Because if the king... If he goes down, then I take his... Oops. I didn't see it that way. Damn, 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 damn. I'm gonna have to just take the pawn, aren't I? And I've got these three pawns here with my king. Oh, dear me, totally messed it up. Oh, good. Can't bring it down now because his rook will just come down here. Oh. Take, king takes, he's got his rook. And move my king across. He starts moving his king, jams it. Oh, it's not working out. I can't believe I messed that up. Total abomination. Total, total, total. Should have pushed up actually. Oh man, the snowball is just. Whoosh. Oh. Shabby, shabby, shabby. I'm saying nothing now. <laughs> Dear. I've got three pawns. In theory, I should be able to get a promotion, but I don't. Yeah, look, his king's coming up. And then this rook's just going to block me off. Um, King's not going to have any play in the game, and all my pawns are disappearing. <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to hurt. It's not going to allow me, yeah exactly. I think there's enough for a draw. 
if I don't mess it up. sick wow my word good job we only played one oh, I totally messed that up absolutely I didn't even deserve a draw but we got a draw so I'm a happy bunny 